this video did not age well. A lot of civilians have lost their lives. And Nitin said, you said there will be no harm to civilians, but people are dying, including Indians. What's your take on this? Okay. So last week I had said when on, on day two or day three of the of the intervention, I had said that the Russians will try their best not to target civilians. They will try not to harm any civilians. That's what I said. And now people have interpreted that as me having said that not a single civilian will die. That's not what I said. In a military conflict, even if you try your best not to cause any civilian casualties, when the opposition is arming civilians, when they are placing hostages as human shields in military installations, you're going to have loss of life. I never said not a single civilian will die. That's impossible in a conflict. I said the Russians will try their best to minimize civilian casualties. They will not go and target civilians. They will only target military installations. And that is precisely what we have seen over the past 10 days. They are doing pinpoint strikes. They are targeting only military installations. They are not targeting civilians. Lots of videos are there when civilians are confronting the Russian, Russian soldiers who are carrying weapons. And the Russians are being very patient and very restrained. Right? So they are not targeting civilians. Yes, civilians will die if the Ukrainians place civilians as human shields inside military installations. We know that's happening. And if a civilian goes for a walk when there's an artillery barrage happening, that civilian will die if they're, they're that stupid. Right? So casualties happen in war. If you compare the number of casualties that you, that you saw in the American invasion of Iraq, first 10 days, and this particular Russian military campaign, the difference in civilian casualties will be shockingly different. There are very few civilian casualties in this campaign compared to what the Americans did in Iraq or in Afghanistan or in uh, Libya or anywhere else in the last 20, 30, 50, 100 years. So that's what I meant and that is precisely what's happening. And I never said there will be no harm to civilians. I said the Russians will try to minimize civilian casualties. They will do their best not to hurt any civilian. But this is war, man. Some people unfortunately will die. That is the sad thing about, about wars. Some people start the war and the people who end up suffering the most are the innocent civilians. That's what happens always in wars. So the Russians are trying their best not to do that because they do not see the Ukrainians as a separate people, as a foreign nation. The Ukrainians are the same as the Russian people. They are Slavic people and so on. I've, I've gone into the history in the past. So that's the reason why the Russians are trying their best to minimize civilian casualties and uh, damage to civilian infrastructure.